planning some time to to do some little things to the uh, 240. Um, I just got done uh, adjusting the idle. The idle was a very high. I'm trying to figure out the timing, but I can't find any timing marks, so I gotta look that up. Uh, but one of my main issues is my, uh, my, my the retractor on my seatbelt. It's supposed to go back, obviously, when you start the car. Um, there's a sensor that's gone bad in here, so I gotta open this panel up and try to find it. Okay guys, so once you get to the actual mechanism, there's three small Phillips screw, um, Phillips head screws that you need to remove to uh, expose the actual switches, uh, which is what I'm doing right here. Okay, so what happens is there's actually a, uh... okay, so right there, there's a switch right here, so if you look, this will be pulled down when that motor, when this uh, track comes over here, Gosh, dang it. and then it will go to this little switch that will stop the motor right here. And then there's another switch right here that's supposed to be engaged, but uh, if there's a closed circuit, um, it will retract, it'll go back forward. The circuit's closed, it'll come down here. Now, the only problem is it won't close because I guess it's a known issue that a whole bunch of uh, gunk, like this grease, like right here, see it's all grease, um, will build up in this in this mechanism and then it'll stop that that connection from ever happening and then it'll stop the seatbelt. So hopefully I can clean that out and then I'll have a working seatbelt again. Okay, so I just pulled the actual switch from the mechanism and if you can tell so that that this right here this so this right here is that switch and if you look it's pretty gunked up and if it doesn't make a connection and that seatbelt doesn't come through so I'm gonna clean this out here in a sec so this right here is that this is the problem sensor the green one okay so on here uh, you gotta like push these tabs down on the both and all, all sides. You gotta work your way around, and this will come out. Now you gotta be careful. Oh, see like that piece just came off. There's a little spring piece, um, and the mechanism that's actually bad here. Let me. So the metal. So remember this. This is there's a spring in here, and so remember this is the part that gets um, pressed. I don't know if you can see. But anyways, so that when you remove that actual piece in here. There's a uh, contact points on this that are just completely covered in gunk. All right, guys. So I cleaned. I used some uh, just some degreaser. So if you look at that contact point, it looks way better now. And then it's gonna be kind of harder to see, but uh, let me get further out. So if you look, the contact points on there. I'm still gonna clean a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so if you look at the contact points there now, obviously a lot cleaner. So it was completely gunked up, so it wasn't making any connection with this and this guy right here. Oh, well, it's actually the underneath part. This is just a this is just a little piece to keep them together here. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put this back together. I'll show you how it works. So this bracket actually, this is what this is what I actually took off. And sorry if the camera angle is all weird. It's just the light is not letting me, but see this is that bracket that was in there. <laughs> Cleaned it out a little bit, again also with some degreaser. Um, but usually there's grease in here because of this, this mechanism is what lets it slide this uh, cable. Or this, uh, so you just push this back in and make sure that's all there like that. There's still two little prongs too, those go inside like that oh no sorry this one the green ones on the left so that one goes there all right guys so moment of truth I put everything and I haven't bolted everything down I was always you always want to check first before you put everything back um, there we go
I have a working retractable uh, seatbelt. Sweet. All right, guys. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope that helped anybody out with the same issues. I know it goes out a lot. You can actually go to any Nissan dealership; they'll replace it for free since it's a uh, I'm um, dealing with safety, but if you want to just handle it yourself and just clean out that switch like I showed you, it'll be up and running in no time. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have uh, a little more interesting videos in the future.